Continuing with more of the action, it's happening right here at the Paco Arena. And coming up, on CEU Scorpions with their deadly sting. We'll be going up against ang ating host school team, ang Lyceum of the Philippines University, Batangas Pirates. Ito, taking a look at our team, team standings. CEU 3-0 has yet to be beaten, has yet to meet any kind of a threat against any opponent. But so far, so good for them. Well, kamusta na po kayo? Benji Santiago, kasama ko si Coach Bojing Akot. Let's take a look at CEU Scorpions. Grabe. Uh, I, I, I just have not managed to uh, average lang yung kanilang mga winning margin sa kanilang mga opponents. Pero always one-sided uh, ball game, Coach Bojing. Uh, well, alam mo, pagdating sa mga winning games, no, tradition na rin naman talaga ng CEU Scorpions to really have that winning attitude. Inaugural champions. Yes. At saka tatandaan din natin, pag maganda ang support ng management, just like you know Coach Jeff Perlas as the uh, sports director and also yung chief coaching staff mo naman, Coach Chico Manabat, na talagang maganda yung basketball IQ, maganda yung kanilang knowledge sa basketball, it will transcend sa players. Ang LPU Batangas Pirates naman still on the hunt for their first win. And uh, let's see what they can do against this powerhouse CEU Scorpions. Joe Melancheta have made an impact with 12.7 rebounds, 6 assists. Coming off an injured uh, Franz Diaz the last time around and he showed them the way. Frank Robles naman, makikita nyo, numbers, monster numbers, 25 points. Yung kanyang uh, three-point shot, seven, ha? Huh? Meron pa siyang seven rebounds and five assists. Truly, what is expected of Frank Robles to provide leadership for his team? On the PG Plex Linoleum UCBL Season 5, presented by Vespa. Time to meet the starting lineups, beginning with the CEU. Scorpions at forward number four, Carl Peñano. One guard number seven, Jomel Ancheta. At forward number nine, Jerome Santos. Playing center number 14, Victor Balogun. Starting at guard number 16, Jello Santiago. The CU Scorpions is led by Chico Manabat. Here's the starting five for the LPU Batang Pirates. At forward number 26, Frank Robles. Playing center number 21, Richard Dolig. One guard number 13, Kim Hernandez. Forward number 11, Angelo Cantos. At guard number 6, Lowell Castro, LPU Batangas Pirates head coach is Don Acero. Game will be officiated by Don Our starters for this ball game. So it seems like Franz Diaz is not going to be playing. It's Jomel Ancheta in his place right now. Samantala, sa kabilang banda naman, Frank Robles is starting as their forward. Richard Dotig naman ang kanilang centro. Our referees in this game. Mga tropa mo yun, Coach Bujinga. Oh, si Alan Mansano, Don Argueles, tsaka si Edwin Corbador. Yeah, Edwin Corbadora. Two of three ka dun eh, no? Sa mga tropa mo. Bago lang si Edwin, sasali daw sa iyo mamaya. Sa matala, eto na nagsimula na ang ating ball game dito. And right now, CU Scorpions. Jelo Santiago, Joe Melancheta, thinking about the three. They rotate the ball. They lost it to Kim Hernandez. And right now, Frank Robles. And he come up with another monster numbers here to finally notch a win for the LPU Batangas Pirates. Shot clock winding down. PG Flex Sinolio, champion ka sa PG Flex. Empty possession for the LPU Batangas Pirates. Jello Santiago, long distance, long and strong in the second tira. Second rebound by Hernandez, now they're pushing the ball for a fast break, LPU Batangas. 
Yun nga lang, nawala ang bola dito sa LPU pa agad. Tapin na naman ang si Scorpions. Malogod, the man in the middle here. And that's the first basket. Para rito. Palpeniano for CU Scorpions. It was wide open shot by Penanyo. Dahil doon sa walang rumotate na defense ng LPU Batanga. Vespa Scooter live more with Vespa. Almost losing the basketball there was Noel Castro. Kim Hernandez unable to score from long distance. 2-0 lead para sa CEU Scorpions and they always have this game plan, game strategy and uh, actually pattern na ito for Coach Chico Manabat. This is a very nice drop pass. So, Pen Penano. 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 Oh. Penano. What I'm saying is si Coach Chico Manabat, ganito yan eh. Ito yung first five. Nakong substitution yan. Second five. Oh, second batch. Third batch. Ganun yan. Putin players sa Chula. Nakakalaro na. That's the luxury of Coach Chico Manabat. Alam mo yun, lahat ng players mo can step up and can play. Yeah. And basically, ganun din at halos, walang mga halos pagbabago makikita mo. Inside, Val Peñano. Unable. Point blank. They got it back. Jello Santiago. Jomel Ancheta fires! We would like to have a guard like Ancheta who can really knock down three point shot. Kim Hernandez. If I wanted to drop an Ancheta, Team Rebel Sports is the official outfitter of UCBL. Good attack by Ramos. Correction, that's Robles. Frank Robles. Would usually struggle in the first half, but then he will make up for it in the second half. Yun nga lang, kuminsan na hindi iwanan na sila. Kaya kailangan, umpisa ka lang. Ano na, kagaya nito, hindi pa umi score dito ang LP Matagas Pirates. Maul, John Maul, John B. Maul. Richard Dottig fires, nope. The only available shot na binibigay dito ng CEU is Outside shot for LTU. Yeah. Unfortunately, they have been missing their outside shots. Even then, the boy in the range, Angelo Pantos, was called for a foul earlier. 5 0 instant lead here for the CU Scorpions. Jerome Santos thinking about it. Jello Santiago driving, hooks it up and in! Santiago attacking the defense, the zone defense of LPU, going to his left, finishing with his right, and an end one situation for him. Panitan kagad para sa LPU Matangas. Einstein Ramos found himself struggling in the previous game. Well, let's see. So, nagbalik na, muli, ang kanyang firepower. And to beat a three-point play, but they got the ball back. Cello again. Peniano puts it up and in. You know, you would like to have a center. Peniano can pick it in and pick it outside. An early timeout in this ball game for LPU Batangas Pirates. They can seem to find a hole. Samantala, Bachaba, ang butas naman ng ring para sa CEU Scorpions. Sabrina San Diego. We still won't be seeing the point guard and team captain, Nasi Franz Diaz of the CEU Corp Scorpions, playing in today's match. 
Sabi pa naman niya sa akin na sobrang proud daw siya sa nagiging performance ng team. And he also like to commend the presence of the rookie player, Jome Lancheta. Naging emotional nga ang 19-year-old from the previous game. Sabi niya naman sa akin na naaalala lang daw niya ang sacrifice ng kanyang parents para sa kanya. And I quote, masaya ako dahil hard work is finally paying off. Nakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Ito na si Vince Ferrer, ang kapatid ni Kevin Ferrer. And I do believe si Kevin Ferrer will be there somewhere. Sa bago ang ito. Sana magkaroon ng funny shot dito si Kevin Ferrer. Si Henry Agunani scoring the uh, two points to Shaded Lane. Frank Robles! Can he miss another three-pointer? Ayan o, Vince Ferrer! That's what you like with Ferrer, no? He can finish the fast break and also he can defend. Ayan ang versatility ng mga Ferrer. Ito, ito pa siya ulit, oh. Back-to-back baskets for Vince Ferrer. And this doesn't look good for Coach Dan Acero as he calls another timeout here. Players off the bench will right away score back-to-back -back pass. In the case here, Vince Ferrer making it a 22-5 lead for CEU Scorpions. LPU Batangas Pirates down by 17. Ganun, ganun lang. At ito, wow! Baby, 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 Q sticks with you. Fun moment. Yan. <laughs> Diba. ball game na ito. Uli na naman nagbalik ang possession from CEU Scorpions. There was that shot block by Edward Chavez. Oh! Edward and Chavez. Two shot blocks in a row. Palpal pa si Henry Agunani. Twice na nagkaroon ng turnover dito si Henry Agunani. Una, that parehas naging traveling violation. Lead is 17. Frank Robles only has three points so far in the game. Vital purified drinking water for a healthy life. Noel Castro. So it's some holdovers here for the LP Batangas Pirates. Noel Castro has got to make his presence spell. Shot back down to two. They get the ball from backcourt. Back to Ali Bakira. Nangyari yung turnover na yun dahil sa magandang depensa na pinakita ni Kabotahe. I'm sure Kabotahe. Everybody's getting into the act of doing something significant. Ito! I'm sure Kabotahe! Kabaan ng presyon! After a good defense, it resulted to a good offense for a three-point shot by Kabotahe. Oh, superb offense! Lead is 20. Para sa CEU, Lowell Castro, nowhere to go. Gerald Sarmiento. Frank Robles again. That is his second three-pointer here in the first quarter. Uh, six points already for Robles. They have to look at Robles when they have a yes to the outside shot. So, Rondre Tolentino on a quick attack, but lost control of the basketball. The session will go back. LP Batangas Pirates, Frank Robles waits for his teammates. Puesto kayo. Getting a pick from Sarmiento. Now, Lowell Castro has it. 82 seconds here in the first period. Who's going to take the shot? Down to five, down to four. Once again, Noel Castro turns, puts it up, bounces out. Henry Agunani taking care of the rebound. And Jord gets a pass. A two-man play sana, hindi nga lang pumasok. Frank Robles quick double teaming defense in the backcourt. Now Noel Castro has some space. But Sarmiento. Not too sure about taking a shot, Frank Robles. Air balls. Vince Ferrer is blocked. 
and fouled and will go to the line for a pair of free throws. One of the problems of LPU Batangas is their shot selection. You know, they have to really recognize who's the shooter at the same time. Kung sino yung pinaka first available open guy to shoot. Yun know, kailangan maging adjustment ni Coach Dana Cero. Pero pagdating naman dito sa CEU Scorpions, you know, Kevin Fer ah, Kevin Ferrer. Ferrer, syempre uh, puro Ferrer family yan. Alam mo, scorer talaga. No? He, he has already five points. That's right. Looking for his sixth. At saka, off the bench player, Iba yung kumpiyansa mo na scoring ka 5 points kahit off the bench ka. Merong iba nag nagdadalong isip hindi ako first 5 eh. Siya consistent siya sa energy niya. And the presence of his older brother Kevin Ferrer, most probably sabi niya, kailangan maging proud si Kuya. <laughs> Twenty-six-eight, CU Scorpions. Angelo Pantos driving. Oh, Kule! Pero hindi kulo. Anjord Kabotahe. Air ball set. Three pointer inside. Vince Carrera yeah. almost getting it on the reverse. They got it back. Anjord. Left handed layup is in. After a good defense of the backward pressure of CEU Scorpions, Kabotahe scoring five points. Ito pa siya muli, huh? Kabotahe pa rin. A very difficult shot by Kabotahe, scoring 7 points for Coach Chico Manabat. And how many points have they managed to score in the last 10 seconds? <laughs> Look at this. Seems to be that basketball will always stay in the hands of CEU. Whatever they put up, bottom of the net. 30, CEU, 8, LBU, Matangas. We're just about to start with the second quarter of the action. Welcome, welcome for Sayur Lahat. Ang uh, PG Flex Linoleum UCBL Season 5 presented by Vespa. It's on again. Oh, ayan ang tinatawag nga natin na si Kuya Kevin Ferrer. Ang PBA pa yan, ha? Nandito ang kanyang nakakabatang kapatid na si Vince Ferrer who has managed to score already five points off the bench. Diba? Support ng family, yan ang That's importante. Right. Diba? Oh. Siyempre, kinakailangan. Kung ano yung nakuha ni Kuya, inabot ni Kuya, kailangan yeah. maabot din ng kanyang kapatid. Makikitan pa nga. Kung pwede, o. Frank Robles has got six points. Edward De Chavez, they need also his output here. And so is this guy, Noel Castro, just missed the outside shot. So far, LPU has been moving the ball around. Getting that good look. Unfortunately, hindi pa rin talaga pumapasok. Percentage is not on their side. Antos. A miss again for LPU. CEU. PG Flex Linoleum. Champion ka sa PG Flex. Risky passes that they can't afford. But Logan on the drive. Tamaan niya ata si Edward De Chavez. Palu hitting De Chavez on oh. his layup. There was no call. Wrong place at the wrong time for Edward De Chavez. Einstein Ramos returns to the floor here. Angelo Pantos will sit down for LPU Batangas. Kim Hernandez who started this ball game while it's an MPU will return. Einstein being trapped at the backcourt. Vespa Scooter live more with Vespa.
Frank Robles goes for another three-pointer. It's a miss. Uy, trouble. Grabe. Uh, Natamaan na naman. May tinamaan na naman si Balogun. Si Einstein Ramos naman. Uh, Harang-harang ke. Sabi ni Balu. Pero yun yung tamang gawin, di ba? Really stay in front and play defense. There's Frank. All on a sundot. Babalik pa si Joe Melancheta. To replace si Christian Manikana. For those kind of miscues. Mahirap yung ganung pasa, no? Yung kalaba mo, playing the passing lane, tapos uh -oh. papasa ko ng overhead. It will be very risky. Balugo. Inside, Chelo Santiago. Outside, that is a goal. Noel Castro. The output only eight. They lost the basketball. Has not been able to take a shot. Jerome Santos. Balu! <laughs> what a slam by Balu! Up in the air. May I go Pabule see you. Jerome Santos with a finger roll. 4 0 run for CEU Scorpions. And it's a pressure pasila again. The backcourt bread and batter of Coach Chico Manabat. Oh well, being grounded here. Frank Robles, Dwight, or Einstein. He has struggled previously, right now. Balu. This is Balu, and I'm didn't go away, you know? I mean, he might have the high of the Jumel Ancheta, and I'm using his quickness. Seven points for Ancheta with two rebounds and three assists. He's not going to win with Franz Diaz, right? Oh, well! Long and strong, he got it back. Joe Lynch, how are you, Parin? He's going to win with the interior of the LPU, the interior defense of Balu. Jerome Santos in and out with that drive. 36 CU, eight points. It's going to be the next guy to score for us LPU Batangas Pirates. Ayo Parente, Einstein. Jomel, thinking about it, going for it. Got it back. In a block, Einstein Ramos. Jerry's grill sizzling assist of the game from Jerome to Paulo up in the air. Look. Up in the sky. And it's a here Jerry's grill. What a slam by Balu. Babalexi. Chamani Mong. Marasapani Kirla. LP Batangas Pirates. If Joe Melancheta inbounding it to Balu. Balu. Oh, kita mo yung Balu. Nakakapag assist. Man. Eagle, eagle eye for Balu, you know, locating his teammates in shaded lane. Anthony Borromeo getting to the scoring at Maruyama Tarpaulin. Siyempre, bahagi pa rin yan UCBL for the longest time already. 30-point lead. Cello Santiago taking it strong. Out jumping everybody. Santiago scoring again. Four points for him. Frank Robles off with a three. Got it back. All will stay para sa panic ng uh, LPU Batangas Pirates. Jello Santiago, last touch. We get a timeout. And it's still 6.03 remaining. We're just here in the second period. CEU off to another hot start here in the first half.
Welcome back. We got to hear from Sabrina San Diego again. Ito lang ang gustong makita ni Coach Dana Cero of the LPU Batangas sa mga boys. Ito nga ay tapang, tsaga at puso. Okay naman daw ang ginagawa nila sa practice pero kailangan lang talaga nilang i-apply every game. Hindi ako makukulang sa guidance sa mga pirata dahil meron akong tiwala na kaya nga ng aking mga boys. That's all for now. Back to you guys. Alright. Well, let's see. Yun nga. There's a big difference between something that you like done it's something that is happening now. 32 point lead. Jello Santiago missing. The ball ends up right now for LPU Batangas Pirates. Ito nga, 8 kanina pa ito. Yaun finally. That's a good shot by Ramos knocking the three point shot. Einstein Ramos. Kailangan, marami pa niyan. Einstein. Alpeniano. Balu. Powering his way. Bully ball. Oh. <laughs> Marunong na si Balu ng bully ball. Well, it will be hard to stop Balu once he's in the shaded lane. Kahit double teaming niya, triple teaming niya. With his at height advantage and his power, powerful moves, Eh, mahirapan talaga bantayan niya ng LPU Batangas. Balu scoring already 6 points dito sa ball game but missing the ball is pretty good. Kim Hernandez throws a long pass. Einstein Ramos, last touch. Si Anthony Borromeo. Maraming bumabati dito sa ating Facebook Live. Sabi ni Alexandra Santa Ines. Oh. It's with me, Jerome. Ah, uh, Jerome Santa. Nice one. Love you. Ayan, Jerry's Grill. Well, okay na lang ang hindi na ngayon. Si Boss Jerome na nalo na naman ng Pinamad College Blue Dragons. Tamat pa sa Olivares yun. Look at Jomel Ancheta. This guy can also fly. Very athletic tong point guard na to, si Ancheta. Tama nga, no? si Franz Diaz. Very confident siya that Jomel Ancheta can take charge on nilang ball game. He has already 11 points now. That's why you uh, think the best fucking matchup, I know, sabi ko. These are players who made an impact in the previous game. Jomel Ancheta with Franz Diaz got injured. He checked in off the bench. And he made everybody forget that Franz Diaz is injured. Ganun lang yun eh. Kailangan yun sa isang player, you know? Yung bigyan ka lang ng opportunity, yung breaks. Uh -oh. And once you're given, make sure you maximize it. Kaya nang ngayon, si Kuchito Mana Kuch Chico Manabat has the trust kay Ancheta. Einstein Ramos missing the three. The follow-up is in! That was Chavez. You talk about trust. Coach Dan Acero trust the Chavez, especially this offensive rebounding against the two white shirt of CEO Scorpions, scoring his six points off the bench for LPU Batangas. You can also check out uh, play, I think, uh, YouTube channel UCB. For smart sports, the lead is 30. I'm seeing you, Scorpion. So we're just here in the first half. Approaching the final four minutes. Gerald lets it fly. No, look at Teddy Agunani with the follow. Rebounding, no problem for CU Scorpions. You have Balu, you have Hendry taking charge uh -huh. for the rebounding. Ball. Hernandez. Ramos. Nope. Their chance to get a, a fresh possession. And then Edward De Chavez again floats it up. De Chavez taking the floater shot. That's the right way to take a basket, no? Against the 6 8 player, Henry, the floater shot. Ito naman, Henry Algonani. At close range, he won't make any mistake about that. 
So, they have to push out Henry outside the shady area. Yeah. Fiesta yan pagdating sa gitna. Pero ang tanong, sino magpo-push out sa kanya rito? Kailangan talagang team effort yan, you know? They have to rotate. Kim Hernandez gets into the scoring act. Para sa panig ng LPU Batangas Pirates. First two points of King uh -huh. uh, Hernandez dito sa ballgame. Open look for Jerome Santos. Ball, so it's a long pass. Einstein, hand off. Edward Chavez floats it up. Gets it back. Kicks it out. Ball will fire. And gets it. John Lee Ball taking that short jumper. Scoring for LPU Batangas. CEU, although they're picking up on their game here, yet the LPU Batangas Pirates, but CEU have erected a big lead here. Kim Hernandez has been able to knock down his first basket in the game, and we are already in the second quarter. CEU 49, LPU Batangas 21. Cero. Einstein Ramos has already, has already scored as we take a look once again at Kevin Ferrell, brother of Vince Ferrell. And, uh, Baby Q! <laughs> Ethel Vince Ferrell gets it back. Ah! Dito mo naman, pinakita lang si Kuya. Sure, no problem. Vince Ferrer will respond. The Agaw pa sa ilalim. Missing on the reverse. Joe Melancheta creating space inside. How does he do that? The slickless guy on the floor. The one-two punch of Uchiko Manaba, Tancheta and Ferrer scoring 12 points for Ancheta and 7 points for Vincent Ferrer. Vital purified drinking water for a healthy life. Look at this, one more time, Vince Ferrer, he missed, and then Strobel and Chet. Another bully ball! What do you call this in Barangay? Kinaldag. Hindi naman kinaldag. What do you call this? It's just a rare. Bully ball. You just look at it. Yes! Okay, let's say it again. Agri tayo, agriculture lang alam natin, basketball na tayo. Oh, Kim Hernandez hitting a big one. It is a three-pointer for Kim Hernandez, 53-24, though, CEU. You yes. would like to have uh, Kim Hernandez in your team. He scored five points already dito by Coach Dana Serra. Henry Agonane, two tries, nothing. Maul, the rebound. Kim Hernandez, now let's see Joe Melancheta. This is getting to be an interesting matchup uh, between Joe Melancheta and Kim Hernandez. Blocked by Jerome Santos, who's got the basketball. CEU in the man. Joe Mel. Foul downstairs. You know, the way Ancheta's play, you can see the level of confidence na dahil sa binibigay sa ating coach Chico, Chico Manabat. Diba? Yung mga attitude eh, no? Pagi ito ka, pero you're always ready to play. When your name is called, present! Tsaka siyempre, alam mo, diba? Coach Chico Manabat is another good point guard. Diba? Oh, yun yun. Yung ano baga, natatranscend na yung kanya mga experiences as a point guard. Dave Bernabe lost the basketball. It's the headline. There's Coach Chico Nabat. Open face now. Specialist. Just looking on. And you know, sometimes that kind of an expression will still tell you that he's not that good. There's still room for a lot of improvement. He knows that. Many maganda sa isang coach, no? He will always try to find ways to improve his team. Kahit nananalo ka na. 
you want to always uh, have a perfect game. Uh, alam mo kasi yung kalaban eh, na-check ka na eh, kung baka tinignan din eh. Hindi ginawa ninyo yung tama. And of course, yung kalaban mag-a-adjust yan. Double round of elimination natin. So you always have to find ways na magugulat mo rin yung nag-scout sa'yo to come up with something new. 5-24 CEU. Inside. Frank Robles. Ang bilis naman ng Patriot Coach dito. Ang CEU. Oh, troubling na tinawag. Oh. A rare turnover wow. for Vincent uh, Ferrero. Si Ferrer, oh. Well, lucky break. I would say that was one lucky break for us, uh, LPU Batangas Pirates. I'll take it. If I'm Coach Dan Nacero, whatever turnover sa makreate doon sa kabila sa CEU scoreboard, I'll take it. Unfortunately, nag-turnover din ng LPU Batangas sa kanilang offense. Ball, once again, turning to the floor para sa LPU Batangas Pirates. Cho Melancheta. It's Vince Ferrer. Now Jerome has it. Difference of three seconds. Game clock and shot clock here. Jomel now makes a move. Going Jerome. Jerome fires the three. Gets in a go. There's some time remaining. Einstein in a win. Oh, puta puta. The last second. That's just about it. That's how the story has been told in the first 20 minutes of play here. CEU in control, leading by this much. LPU Batangas was founded in 1966 by the former Senator Dr. Sotero Laurel. It started in this campus with just a uh, few programs and a small number of students and uh, teachers. Over the years, it has grown considerably as it continuously expands and offers more programs and becomes one of the premier universities in the Calabar Zone region. Uh, we now have three campuses all situated in the Batangas City, and it is now managed by our uh, President, Dr. Peter P. Laurel. We attained our university status in 2018 and obtained our autonomous status a year after. Now, the main trust of our university is geared towards international accreditation as we position our university to become an internationally industry-driven university. First of all, no, uh, LPU has produced no, a lot of graduates and even varsity players no, all over the years. Well, as we all know, the sports program uh, builds no, confidence and the uh, spirit of camaraderie and the uh, friendship no, uh, among the, not only among the athletes, but in the community as a well. whole. Here in LPU Batangas, no, in our university, we just don't make our students engage in academic activities, no, but we also provide uh, extracurricular activities to our students, such as sports, because we believe in balanced student life. Well, I believe that the basketball program and the entire sports program of any university is part and parcel of the total development of the students. That's why here at LICU, we believe that 
we should give opportunities for our students show their skills and talents, not only in academics, but also in sports. That's why we have been a member of a lot of sports organizations so that our athletes can have that uh, avenue. Inside the university, we try to provide the kind of training that they need. That's why we have uh, capable coaches who handle the training. But the crowning glory would always be the athletes who the school will be able to turn out as professionals after their term as student athletes. Makikita nyo, pag sinabi ng team ng LPU, Batangas, style ko kasi run and gun. Yes, dribble, pass agad, kung sino yung bakante, kung sino yung libre. Yun ang wakul, lahat, big man, tumitirap. Importante yun sa teamwork. Ang isa pa, ang kinukuha ko sa mga player kasi, respeto at tiwala. Kung wala ka nun, wala yung team nyo, watak-watak yan. Magtiwala kayo, lahat ng kakampi nyo. I-boost mo, kung may nagkamali yung player, you have to boost this moral. Kailangan handa sila, lalo na ang UCBL ay hindi basta-basta ang liga. Ang LP, laging laban yan, laging laban sa lahat ng laban. Hindi... Hindi sumusuko yung mga bata rin. Kailangan walang takot, walang kaba pag sila ay maglalaro. Sobra kami excited kasi pag sisimula na ulit siya na yung CBL, talagang pinagandahan namin yung ano namin, maghanap yung season ito. Magiging aggressive lang talaga kami sa, sa mga ginagawa namin sa loob ng court. Tapos kami na talaga kami nagpo-focus kasi height ng team namin, halos under size kami pa kumpara sa mga ibang schools sa nakasali sa UCBL. Uh, Siyempre, gagawin namin yung best namin. Magiging aggressive kami about possession. Uh, bibigyan namin ng magandang laban lahat ng mga kalaban namin. Second half of action. Ang susunod. Pero right now, we're just about to uh, make this short story. Kumbaga, ano, ang ating mga kaganapan nung nakaraang uh, at natapos na 20 minutos na action sa bakbaka na ito ng CEU Scorpions at LPU Batangas Pirates with CEU having their way. Vince Ferrer off the bench. Everybody, basically. Same page, eh. Yun ang nangyayari sa kanila rito eh, uh, Coach Bujing, you know? Well, everybody's contributing for Coach Chico Manabat, you know? Ancheta scoring, uh, Balu scoring, tapos you have the consistent scorer, uh, Jerome Santos, Santiago. So talaga masasabi na a well-balanced uh, CEU Scorpions. Samantala dito sa LPU Batangas Parts, Edward De Chavez, when he knocked down that shot underneath, everything would have followed. Pero sunod-sunod pa rin eh para rito, lalo na in the presence of Jomel Ancheta with a set-up job for CEU Scorpions. Uh, Pag-usapan natin yung field goals, Benji. 53.1% ang field goal dahil yan, coming from a good defense, sa backcourt, aagaw, tutukan na kagad ang basket dito mm -hmm. ng CEU. Pagdating naman sa LPU Batangas, 30.6 yan dahil sa shot selections nila hindi ganun kaganda. Field goals, a uh, three-point field goal, 4 of 13 for CEU, 4 of 23. So, mababang-mababa talaga ang 3-point field goal. Turnovers, 
24 LPU Batangas. And also, pagdating sa turnovers ng CEU, 15 turnovers. Pero parang sila basically, marami na yung turnovers na yun. Kahit 15 lang yung CEU, pero 20 dito sa LPU. Ating uh, best key matchup of the game, taking a look at Joe Melanchetta, 12 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. Parang nothing much has, has been different from his previous game. Frank Robles is the one who has been struggling. Meron siyang 8 points, a couple of 3-pointers, three, 3 rebounds, no assists. And truly, he is a very, very important player here. But who knows what's going to happen in the next two quarters that we are about to show you. Mula po dito again sa Paco Arena. Samahan nyo kami, Mondays and Thursdays, we start the games. 12 noon. At sabi nga natin, baka mabigyan pa kayo rito. Uh, marami eh, di ba? Meron tayo. You want water? We got water. Baby huh? you. Meron kami dito, we got meat. You want meat? We got meat. And who knows what else is going to happen. Mga susunod pa natin dito, ha? With a lot of the sponsors noticing what we're doing here in UCBL. Six and five now. And Frank Pignano. What a ball movement for the CEU Scorpions from right to left and locating the big man Peniano for a two points. Noel Caso has been very quiet in this game, Coach Bujing, para sa LPU Batangas Pirates. Ball with an offensive rebound. Frank Robles knocks down his third three pointer in the game. Robles has 11 points in this ball game with, with three rebounds. They have to locate Robles. Robles is a legit shooter. PG Flex Igorian, champion Casa PG Flex. What about Noel Castro, coach? Well, he's, a, he's one of the best point guards of LTU Batangas until now. He's still looking for his rhythm. You know, remember, in the first quarter, palang two minutes, nasaktan na yan eh, nagsub ka agad yan. So, yung di niya kagad nakuway ka niyang rhythm. So, uh -huh. now, we'll see if he was able to adjust. This is John Lee Ball. Frank Robles, shot clock down to four right now. They go inside, Lola Castro. This foul is going to go to the line for a pair. Moving without the ball, got it from the weak side, Lowell Castro. That's the right way to do the defense of Ancheta. Now, ito na yung pagkakataon. Yon, that's the scoreboard that he shot. If you can't take it outside, take it in and take that chance to shoot free throws. You know, I get a wad it on the low wall castle, but missing a second free shot. So, right now, Jerome Santos inside. Logun is fouled. May duck duck na nga yun, isa ba Logun? Baka maulit ulit. Meron. Ano eh, simultaneous whistles. Ano nangyayari? Two referees nag-whistle, so magkakaroon ng usapan. At tinawag nga, yung sa 3 seconds kasi isa ah, foul. Eh. Okay. Pero nauna daw yung 3 seconds na tawag. So, it will be turnover for CEU Scorpions. Parang nauna yun. 1, 2, 3. Yung sa... Oh, right now. <laughs> pang 4 daw siya, pang 4 daw. <laughs> But they talk about it. Eh? Yun ang importante. Eh? Yeah. Referees also has to communicate. Just like any teams, di ba? Sa kailangan sa teamwork din ng ating referees. There is no I in team. Unless, ang pangalan mo, team mo team. May I yun. <laughs> 63-30. Ito, may agaw pa. Anjord Kabotahev. Vespa Scura live more with Vespa. Puna, 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 puna. I was a little doubtful about that uh, outlet. Dahil sabi ko. Mukhang ano eh, mukhang hindi maganda yung direction ng bola eh. Mukhang hindi pa masasalo eh. That could have been an easy basket. Lowell Castro has the right uh, thing in mind. Unfortunately, nakalakas yung kanyang pasa. So, another turnovers for LPU. Batangas, 21 turnovers for them. Eduardo Chavez. Palugan in front of him. What's he gonna do? Einstein Ramos. Now, Frank Robles. 
Balogun with a foul. Dito ka paniwala si Balogun. And there's a technical foul called by our referee Alan Mansano on that last play by Castro and Balu. Goal tending, yun ba? Or technical foul. Tinuwado kasi ng foul, Benji. Tapos nag-overreact si Balogun. Oo, oo, oo. Great technical free throw pa ngayon Si Lowell Castro Knocks that down Two points for Lowell Castro now Two free throws ang ibibigay sa kanya Dahil half of shooting na nangyari A foul eh, di ba? Kaya nga two free throws Kaya two free throws Unfortunately Itong second free throw niya kailangan mapasok ito to get his confidence back. We'll see in the next play para rito sa panig ng LPU. But right now, CEU still with this 30-point lead. Ouch! I was about to say it was a good rotation defense by Castro. Unfortunately, it's a good shot. Christian Maricana will be shooting two free throws here. Find it. It's going to be sideline throw in. Here he is, Christian Maricana. Jerome. Inside, Ala. Oh, Pignano with a miss. Rare miss. A close range. Carl Pignano. Yun pa naman specialty game. Tagtagan dyan sa loob. You have to give credit doon sa LPU Batangas. Three players of Coach Dan Acero collapse kay Peñano sa shaded lane. Kaya nag-gunti siya. Point block. Warning on CEO for improper bench decorum. George, Andre is back on the floor. How about that shot for Jerome Santos? Lighting it up from beyond the arc. He's the consistent scorer for CEU Scorpions with 16 points. I'm talking about Jerome Santos. Team Rebel Sports, official outfitter of UCBL Season 5. And George Cabotaje with a steal. Jomi Lancheta, Jerome Santos finishing in one. Sabe? That extra pass of Ancheta provided an end one situation for Jerome Santos. Ancheta, very smart play. Jerome Santos finishing it strong, getting that end one. There's still at one free throw. The bonus still coming up for Jerome Santos. And then, Balogun may steal pa si Balogun. Jomel left open, hesitates. Jerome will go for it. No! Frank Robles clears it para sa LPU Batangas Pirates. Now he brings it down himself. And then, napakailaman ni Jerome Santos. Look at this! Jomel and Cheta. Pinakain ng alikabok si Lowell Castro. 14 points for Ancheta. That was a speedy move for Ancheta of Scorpions. Here he goes. The way he moves. He's up and gone. And it's now 70-33 CEU. CU Scorpions leads by this month 70 33. And Dr. Edward Serralized Drinking Water fan moment. 
How are you ladies? Enjoying the game? Yes, kita mo naman na may small heart pa. I give you my big heart. Mayroon na pag gano'n binigay mo yung big heart mo. Hi, bakit? Siyempre, di ba? Dalawang pang soup. Ayun, okay. Antala, eto, si EU. Unable to score, very rare. Nandun na sila, malapit pa sa basket. Einstein! Almost a bad pass here. Ball up! Bothered by Balogun. Balogun, oh, point center. That's <laughs> Jerome. Smart Sports. Are you watching our stream live? Well, Dito sa Paco Arena. Balogun! It counts. really be hard to stop the Scorpions. Look at this. Balo taking it inside. Two guys guarding him. Mamimili ka lang, Benji. Didepensa mo yung outside shooting ni Santos tsaka ni Ancheta? Or, didepensa mo yung shaded lane dahil kakainin kang buhay ni Balo. Tawag dun nung araw, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Ngayon, anong gagawin mo? So right now, Umakyat na. 40-point lead na to. Coach Kujing. CU Scorpions, nobody came close. Even in their past previous games here in UCBL Season 5. Maul knocks down a three. That's a transition three points of Maul. Meron siyang 5.6 rebounds and two assists. Ron Ray. Alu. Back to Ron Ray. Puts it up and in. Ronde Tolentino moving without the ball, scoring another four, two points for CEU Scorpions. Almost halfway here in the third, stepping on the line, Balu. Kita naman yun, Jeffrey Alan Manzano. Dito tinatanong ni John El Escultor, ah, yung fans. See dito sa comment page natin. Kaya naman game ng PCU. Check nyo lang po yung Facebook page ng, C ng UCBL para malaman nyo lahat ng schedules at nagaganap para sa ating UCBL. John Escultor? Kano nga ninyo si Gail Escultor ng PCU? Hindi naman yung leader ng PCU when it comes to scoring sa Gail Escultor. Breaking and making, Jason Puray. How do you catch them? Although Andrew Kabutai, was that a pass or was that a shot? Nalito rin eh, si Henry Agunani, didn't know. Yeah, pero Kabutai would like to like to pass the ball to Henry. Pero si Henry, nai-anticipate yung long pass. Ooh, Edward De Chavez, ball slipping out of his hands. This is a 39-point lead. Went the size 40 just a little while ago. Chomin. Jason Purai. Bad pass to Henry Agunani. Eduardo Chavez spins. Double team target. Grabbing anticipation. Andrew Cabotay inside. Wala nang baba. Rob Ray Tolentino. Four points for Ron Ray Tolentino off the bench for Coach Chico, Chico Manabas. I like to Einstein. He took a shot from midsection, in the midsection rather. And... He's going to hit him. He's going to hit him. He's going to hit him. He's going to hit and run. Yan. Well, he's down on the floor there. Yung referee natin has to stop the play. Oo oh, nga naman. Siyempre, at the end of the day, I, we don't want any untowards injuries. And at the same time, siyempre, gusto natin uh, healthy lahat ng players. Let's take a look at this. Oh, anyways. Okay na naman. Si Einstein Ramos. So, we just have to uh, play ball again. 4 minutes and 17 pa here in the third period. I'll 
technical group still reviewing. Oh, uh, right. They they want to check the different angles, different players in that last play. Alam mo kung kung ako si Coach Dan Acero, yung situation nato, it's good for me. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yun, ngayon na titignan. Ito, ito yung angle na... It deserves to be seen again. Yes. Sa nireview yan. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay? Si so, Ron. Magkakaroon ng hatol yan. Kaya nga, nag-iwan na souvenir. Unnecessary. You're up yeah, by... Yeah. Four, 41 points? Diba? Tapos, papasok sa bowl game off the bench. Uh, I'm pretty sure Coach Chico Malabat. <laughs> Pati ko napapaaral. Sasabihan ni Coach Chico Manabat yan. At the same time, si si Coach Jeff Perlas. Oh, wow. So, I think the call... We just have to wait for the final decision yeah, of the I referee. Know. Pero, mabigat-bigat yan. Eh, oh. Mabigat-bigat yan. Alan Manzano, eh, di ba? This could turn out to be a disqualifying foul. Act of violence. It's an unsportsmanlike foul. You've been angry at us, referee Alan Manzano. Act of violence. And it's a disqualifying foul. We just have to make make the official announcement. We we have to hear it from the venue announcer. But we were already informed that that is what's going to happen. Qualifying foul. You know, you technical group not not it. They can wrap it Britannico. They're doing a great job, you know. You don't want any problem, you know, with lopsided games like this. Gakaron ng problema. So para sa akin, on top of the situation ng ating mga referees, for them to control the ball game, kinakailangan talaga nila to be more precise sa kanilang mga tawag. At saka hindi na makabagay itong referee ito, ha? Si Don Arguez. Yes. <laughs> Al Manzano. Coach Chico Manabat has to settle down. He just have to stay at the ball game. You know, he's doing great. You know, he's yes. still doing great. You know, kinakailangan lang talaga maging composed on it. Einstein! Masakit sa akin pa yung ano, ribcage niya. Kanina I was telling you, if I coach Dan Acero, I would like to have this ball game na kahit alam natin lumalaban ang LPU, tono-todo nila, but this will be a big learning. Learning is for them. And may technical free throw. Technical free throw pa, ibibigay. Hindi, nakunda na yung ano. Technical free throw. Tapos two free throws. Because a sportsman like foul. Disqualified foul. Yeah. Kaya three free throws na binigay sa kanya. Plus ball possession for LPU Batangas. Will this help LPU Batangas Pirates to turn things around? Andre Tolentino. Not exactly the best decision that he has made in his life. Shot clock 4.3, 4.07 to play here in the third. Ryan Reyes playing the passing lane against Robles. Four seconds for LPU Batangas. Long inbound. Oh, may agopa. Oh, may counter. And a shot clock violation. Pero tuloy na. Aprilia SRGT. It's good to have you be part of UCBL. A ah, shot back violation na itinawag na talaga against LPU Batangas Pirates. 77-38. CU Scorpions in control. That may report sa atin si Sabrina. Let's turn you over to Sabrina Santiago. 
Disiplina nga ang hinihingi ni Coach Chico Manabat sa ating nga si U Scorpions dahil uh, pwede pang araw uh, makabawi o makahabol ang kabilang kumunan. On the other hand, presence of mind and extra effort naman ang hinihingi ni Coach Dana Cero from the LBU Batangas Pirates dahil walang mangyayari. Kumara natin lang ang boys and if they don't communicate well. What are your thoughts on this, gentlemen? Well, actually, for uh, LBU Batangas Pirates, you know, it's a sexy and we have seen that actually from Coach Chico Manabat but for Coach Dan Acero, Good name, Bora Rappel. This time, ito na naman yung one of those ball games, Coach Mujing, nas pinabanggit ko, madalas. You don't look at the scoreboard anymore. You just try to execute well. Dahil sigurado naman, pagpunta nyo rito, may pinag-practice ang game, may pinagdaan ang kayong insayo eh. And you want to be able to apply yung lahat ng insayo ninyo in this. Both coaches naman prepared for this ball game. Meron lang talaga tayo sinasabi na mas mature you players no? we're talking about scorpions materiales per se talaga from first group to third group solid ang team ni coach Chico Manabat for coach Dan Acero he has the power the players for the first group but just second and third group still has to mature yeah. so kinakailangan talaga to it's a learning process you know, for LPU Batangas I'd rather get this experience from the best team so far which is CEU to learn more 79-40. The Well Caso knocked down the steep two three throws earlier. Confidence builder para sa kanya. Right now he has the basketball for LPU Matangas. Frank Robles. Ball goes for it. Missing. Oh, Good decision as a part of C. Ryan Reyes, pumalit ito, eh Ron Ray Tolentino. The disqualifying foul, Henry Agonani erasing the shot of Einstein Ramos. Joe Melancheta, Ryan Reyes again. And good. Four straight points for Ryan Reyes. Sa huli ka niyang huling end one situation, nangyari yun dahil sa magandang supalpal ni Henry sa defensive end. Fast break play naman from Ancheta to Ryan Reyes. Meron na six points dito off the bench. May bonus free throw pa for Coach Chico Manabat. Ang sinasabi, bigla kang uh, nahulugan ng biyaya sa langit. Kain mo nga naman. You know? Alam mo, maglalaro naman siya. Baka mamaya pa kasi for quarter. Pero yun nga, disqualifying foul kay Ron Ray Tolentino. Pinasok siya. At parang sinasabi niya, Coach, ito mo na, ready ako. Coach, you know? So making a good impression. Ball. Oh. Einstein. Nasalob na lumabas pa. The ball will go the other way now. This ball foul. So penalty situation. Oh. Ang LPU Batangas, there was a holding foul na tinawag. So, two free throws for Ryan Reyes. Tontua yung kalating ka si Franz Diaz. He's not playing. Got injured. Sabi naman niya, actually, when he got injured, parang sabi niya, you pay 5 of 10 lang naman. Eh. Sabi niya, uh, a scale of 10, 5 lang daw. He believed he could still play, pero nung medyo lumayo na yung kanilang lamang, sabi na, eh, bakit nga naman i-rest pa? Now, Siguro tinignan muna dito, sinabi lang, huwag ka muna mag-start. Pero he's still in uniform, you know, si Franz Di Yese. He is in uniform. And uh, cheerleader muna siya ngayon. Plaging handa, uh -huh. uh, Franz Di Yese. He's also a product of uh, uh, Sacred Heart na tinayon si Boo under Coach Romel Rasmo. One of the best point guard of the Cebu team. 85-40. See you. One minute and 54 remaining. Ramos was called for the reaching in foul, so that would be two free throws for Ancheta, who's doing a great job scoring 14 points, six rebounds, and eight assists. Wow. Target, triple double. 
Pwede. Kaya pa, nasa third quarter pa lang tayo. Pero as a player, hindi naman nila tinitingnan niya kasi they don't see really the stats. Pero, okay, he has to do that. The triple-double para mas magkaroon pa ng kumpiyan sa kanyang team. He's having a lot of fun, Ryan Reyes. Being cheered on. He got pushed to that rebound play. Penalty pareho. He's going to the line. He's in the scoreboard. Christian Maricana will return to the floor here. Much needed rest for Joe Melancheta. Actual Kamotake. So let's see here. Anthony Borromeo back on the floor here. Kanina, suporta. Ngayon naman, inaalas ka. Kinapos lang yung free ito. Baka nabiti. Iwan eh. Diyan sa bench nila. Anyways. 45-point lead para sa CEU. We're just about to conclude the update. Kapuna. Ramos. Ramos with a three-pointer. Eight points for him, Benji. Two rebounds and three assists. Ito naman na Ryan Reyes. Nakapang-assist po! For Henry Agonani. Talaga naman maganda pagkahugot dito si Coach Chico Manabad. Not out of the playing court si Tolentino, but Ryan Reyes delivering the goods for Coach Chico. Oh, big a miss. Here they go again. Napakailaman nga ng Lowell Castro. Sakto naman. Ooh! Sakto yung pasa. Yung tira. Balik na the Pectus. Ryan Reyes may rebound pa. So, he has covered all departments. It's a few minutes pa lamang niya na nilalaro. Jason Buhay. More of the execution of what they have prepared para ito sa single score picks. And as it turns out, everybody is getting to be a threat. Hindi mo na alam kung sino babantayan mo the way they're moving that basketball. Well, Borromeo also adding dun sa firepower ng opensa ni Coach Chico Manabat. Ito ko yan. He's given a chance to prove himself. Shoot two free throws. Penalty pareho. 29.6 seconds remaining. Third quarter. from Kesha City, 2004. So, batang bata ito. Uh-huh. 18 years old. 18. Ikaw, 18 years ka na yung nagbo-broadcast. Good morning. Do the math. Noel Castro. It's about five seconds game clock and shot clock here. Noel Castro. Edward Chavez bounces out. There's still time, oh, for CEU. The late ball. That's a foul. And that'll mean two free throws for CEU. A chance to score for it before time expires here in the third quarter. Jason Puray is shooting. Second year student, financial management, Jason Turay, playing more forward position. Two free throws made. Frank Robles. Ball. Einstein Ramos missing. Have already reached 90, and we still got one full quarter ahead of us. But limiting LPU Batanga some only 43.
Help you, Batangas Pirates. One final push. That's going to be a tall order. 90 CU, 43 LPU Batangas Pirates. Pero ito na nga, papasok na tayo sa ating fourth and final quarter. And still, mukhang patuloy pa rin na magiging uh, undefeated ang record nitong CEU Scorpions and extended to four wins. Pero magsisimula pa lang Ang LPU Batangas Pirates kasi yun naman ang ginahanapan ng natin. Sino ang madadali nila rito? You know, there are some teams na sabi nga natin, bottom dweller yan and stuff like that. Pero some, sometimes kailangan na makakuha ng isang panalo. PCU Das Marinas was also experiencing the same thing. And then, naging Blue Dragon Slayer sila. Natalo nila yung back-to-back champions sa Diliman College. So right now, ito naman ang LPU Batangas Pirates. Let's see. Kailangan pa ba nila si Captain Jack Sparrow para tulungan sila in this game. At hindi magandang pasimula yan dahil may bibigay lang kaagad sa kalapan. Momentary nilang ang hawak nila. Eh, ano sabi ni Lowell Castle? Let's get it back. Let's get it back. And let's make the necessary push. Frank Robles right now, Einstein Ramos. Sanjet is in the game. Lowell Castro from long distance. But no good the rebound. Jobel Ancheta. If there's one thing that I can correct here from Coach Dan Acera, it's their shooting percentage. The final field goal is 14 of 50, which is 28 percent. That's the story that we did in the ball game. They're having good looks, but they're missing shots. But may rong ang galito, big man. Completely, lahat ng shooters ng CEU Scorpions will be confident in taking outside shot. Oh, naman. Kasi may rebounder. They've been dominating the rebounds with 44, 44 rebounds and only 32 for LPU Batangas. Okay lang sana ko rebounding eh. Shot blocker pa to. <laughs> si Bahalu. Tapos, scorer sa shaded lane. Good free throw shooter with 11 points. Here's up here, Batangas Pirates. Pidgey Flex and Yoli of Champion Cast, Sam Pidgey Flex. Earlier, we had been graced by the presence of Pidgey Flex and Yoli of Older. It's Mr. Nelson Guevara. Edward De Chavez. Ganda naman eh, may brilliancy ang offense ng LPU Batangas with those extra pass na ginawa ni Robles kay De Chavez. May 10 points na si De Chavez. So, may agaw pa. Edward De Chavez, yun lang yun. Vince Ferrer right now on the move. Vince Ferrer, the Euro step. Banks it in. Ayaw. Tries again underneath. Wala na sa kanya yung bola. Edward De Chavez. <laughs> Lumilipad na naman si Balogun eh. Noel Castro folds it up, banks it. That was all over the defense of Balu. You know, Castro scoring his eight points. Vespa Scooter live more with Vespa. Chomel, Cello. Foul, Pignano with the basket underneath. Pignano. Still scoring heavily sa shaded lane. Pag six points na niya yan. Dapat din eh, si Calpeñano. He can easily stop him. On the other side, Einstein missing the three. Jomel quickly going jello. Jomel again. Ipat sa kabila. Vince Ferrer! It's a near ball. Usually, Vince Ferrer can knock, out, knock down the three-point shot. Ito, take a look at that floater shot of Castro. 
And ito yung power re power move by Peñano sa shaded lane. Maruyama top lead. Very much for being part of UCBL. Joe Melancheta. Huli! Nasa ba yan? Pero aanga, Jello Santiago. Now he gets out of trouble. As long as they have that basketball. You can defend them, but can you defend them consistently all the way till the end? Ito na, Jello Santiago. To the three. Two minutes ni Jelo Santiago is just 17 minutes, pero very effective siya with 7 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists. Thank you very much, Jerry Grail, always for being a part of UCBL. Samantala, Frank Robles can't knock down the long two. Ball will save by Sapanik and LPU Batangas Pirates. Now the lead is 50. Half a century, 97-47. Well, B.O. Batangas will just keep on playing, you know, find ways on how they will be able to score, find ways on how they will be able to execute your game plan ni Coach Dana Cero. How about the extra pass, huh? Jello, Vince Ferrer. Great two-man play right there. Frank Robles decides to attack and stop it. Behind the back assist pass. Frank Robles knocks down the first free throw. Good then, you can young second. 99-49 13 points na dito si Robles uh, Siya at saka si Di Chavez lang ang double digit scorer dito para sa LPU Batangas Robles up and foul Aggressive layup by uh, Robles dun sa kanilang fast break One reason, wala ni interior blocker Wala si Henry Wala si Balu, kaya kumpiyansa sa pag-atake sa fast break ang LPU Batangas. But earlier, when the two center was playing inside, oh, nagbabago oh. complexion ng kanilang tira. One of two. For Frank Robles. It's for them. Frank Pendiano inside, not the ball and then it's Sana. For a good play, they see you. Einstein, Lowell inside, Edward one, Chavez. One of the few times the Mero backdoor play for LPU Batangas. Good thing the Chavez scoring and scoring and finishing with 13 points. Vince. Who's open? Cello. At the Jomel. Nabawi. Nabawi ni Ancheta. Sipin mo siya, nakshoot na siya ng backdoor ni De Chavez. Pinawi naman niya ng 3 points. 17 points for Ancheta. 50 sarado. Daman. Ng CU Scorpions. Coach Chico Manaban deploying a 1-2-2. Defense for uh, his Scorpions earlier, for full court defense and bina, bina wani le, no. They had many turnovers that created on the LPU Batangas. They got a total 33 turnovers. Jason Puray, Pinitan si Carl Peñano, and si Iu. It's good. good. The only thing that Coach Chico Manabat is going to be thinking. More sa nangyari sa ball game na ito. Yung disqualification foul ni Ron Ray Tolentino. Ooh, ooh. The call was uh, Anspo. We're going to be reviewing that sequence. Einstein Ramos was involved in that one. 
Well, Ramos wanted to stop the play, stop the fast break of CU Scorpions. Uh -huh. Pero tinawag ng ating referee, is unsportsman like foul, but they're reviewing it whether it's gonna be a duty foul or just gonna be, a, it's really gonna be an unsportsman like foul. Well, from the looks of things, it turned out to be just a regular foul here. Or, ito na naman ako eh. Sa likod, sa harap. Spain mo nga uli yan, watch me well, pag ang player, walang defender do sa, sa front court, tapos sa gilid mo pinaul o sa likod, advantage foul yun. Pero kung sa harapan mo siya pinaul, just to really stop the play, it can be a regular foul. It depends on the uh, interpretation ng ating technical group because they're the one reviewing it. It is. Anspo. Jello Santiago taking advantage of the situation where he is in right now. And he makes those two technical free throws because of the unsportsmanlike foul. Oh, got full support. Going wide. In our broadcast. to complete the top the Christian Powder drink. Also, some of the corner they need to say UCBL and a shot that violation now it's a CBA Scorpions. If I'm Coach Dana Serra, I would be happy to have a stop like that. They were able to cover all the areas na pwedeng makashoot ang CBA uh -huh. Scorpions and nagkaroon ng turnover to. So that was a good defense. Vital purified drinking water for a healthy life. Steal! Jello Santiago attacking. Super by Lowell Castro. That was a big challenge by Lowell Castro. Out jumping Santiago, but there was a push. Kaya tinawagan siya doon ng foul. Two free throws for Santiago. Christian Maricana, Papalik for CU Scorpions. To see Leonard Angelo Santiago is from Nueva Ecija, uh -huh. taking a hotel management second year student shooting guard for Coach Chico Manabat. <laughs> Ten points now. Si Santiago dito sa ball game with playing only 19 minutes. It's a quality, you know. First performance in this impending victory once again for CEU Scorpions. Well, the leading scorer for CEU Scorpions is Jerome, Sanchag, so Jerome Santos, but he's not playing anymore. Uh -huh. He's na ni Coach Chico Manaba to give playing time sa kanyang second and third group. Einstein Ramos! Six fifty five lead. Christian Maricana. <laughs> oh, let me get it in there. But why my team makes this a bit sure. Shooters bounds at our garden jan. Playing only with five minutes and thirty seconds due to Sabogi. He scored three points and three rebounds and one assist. Einstein missing the three. The right corner, and right now, Christian Maricano with the basketball. Jason Pura. How about this one? And Andrew Tabotane also delivers with another long distance jumper. Double digit already for Kabotai. He has 10 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists. Reverse, Edward De Chavez with a miss. Robles, the good not only Christian Maricano and Bola. Christian, they're looking for the open man. Andrew Kabotahe, Burns, goes for the shot. Does not drop. The final two minutes in the game. And for a 
best spot. Last two minutes. And game they throw, breaking it wide open. Very early, Panama. Back in the first half, leading by as much as 30 for CU Scorpions and no looking back. Dave Bernabe. Dave Bernabe. Alam mo, may kapatid tong Bernabe na naglaro din sa CEO Scorpions. Ang tatama yung center ng Bernabe. I think they're brothers. Hindi ba siya yun? Pareha sila ng galaw eh. Siya nga, siya nga yun. Hindi isang Bernabe. Veterano na yun eh. Pero ito si Bernabe ngayon eh. Tiga dua ibu siapa dia? Third year student. One one three fifty eight. See you. So for LPU Batangas Pirates, the man was still on the hunt. Did not for their first win here. They don't want to be turning out to be. The whipping boys here in season five, we know sooner or later it's going to come. Napaisip ako sa sinabi mo kung siya talaga yun. Siya yun siya nga kasi ang lapad na pala ngayon. Kasi over the pandemic, di ba? Two years, three years not playing. He has gained a lot of, you know, massive muscles. Kaya pag tinigil mo siya. He's not a small guy naman talaga. Ito sa day, pero na pero. Pero may mas masculine siya, you know? Mas may power siya sa shaded lane. Ayan, si Franz Diaz, di ba? Pinocover natin yan in the previous seasons. Si, Malik si Malikana. Si Christian Malikana, di ba? <laughs> Isang maganda lang doon, eh... Hindi rin nila tayo nakakalimutan. At... Kunti lang yung nakakalimutan na kayo. <laughs> Second sticking away. This is, of course, another big win para sa Panic na si EU Scorpions. I mean, this is not... To say it's, an, it, it's a statement game is an understatement. But this is just how the, the way they play. Yun talaga yun eh. Exactly. You know, if, if you're Coach Chico Manaba, you don't really mind who's your, who's your uh -huh. opponent. Ang important is you will be able to execute kung ano yung game plan mo. Kasi nga, mahaba pa itong ano, duration ng tournament. So, you, you cannot relax whether you're undefeated or you're, you're at the bottom of the standings. Kasi long, long, long tournament pa ito. Tama. Siyempre, lamang din sila sa biyahe, mas malapit sila. Yung kalabang galing pa ng Batangas, ay nandiyan sila sa kabilang kanto lang sila eh, di ba? <laughs> well, pero hindi yun eh. Basically, what we have seen here is another strong win para sa CEU Scorpions. Siya po yun, dati po maliit katawan niya, sabi tuloy ni Juanita Parco Alamilio. Oh, okay. Si Dave Bernabe pinag-usapan niya. Si Dave niya. Bernabe. Dapat oh. talaga ngayon. Yes. 117-60, that's our final score. And another win for the CEU Scorpions, remaining undefeated. Coming up with another convincing win. Ngayon, kasama ni Sabrina San Diego, our best player of the game. I have here with me the PG Flex and all you best player of the game, Zomel Ancheta. Alam mo, napaka-consistent mo no, every time na sinasaba ka nga sa court. So as rookie, ano po ba sa tingin mo yung uh, makokontribute mo? Um... Siguro po as a rookie, makakontribute ko po yung instinct ko po as a rookie. Tas, um, parang kahit minsan po na nagkakamali ako ganun, palagi ko lang po iniisip na bumawi. Tapos uh, marami pa din po ang pagkukulang as a rookie. Tas, marami pa po ang kailangan ni improve. Alright, there you have it. Pero bagong lahat, sino mo yung mga gusto mong batiin? Um, binabati ko po ulit sila mama at papa po. Tapos... Um, Pinabati ko po si Coach Jun, yung mga kaibigan ko po sa San Mateo, mga taga, taga Marigina, taga San Mateo po. Tapos um, maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa mga patuloy na nandiyan sumusuporta sa akin. Uh, yun lang.
There you have it, our best player of the game, Joma Lancheta of the CU Scorpions. Congrats! Boys, cool, calm, and collected. Napapaligiran siya ng kanyang mga teammates. Pero, <laughs> pati yung mga teammates niya gusto magpabate. Jomel Ancheta, kakatakot naman tong rookie na to. Marami pa raw siyang gustong i-improve sa sarili niya. Eh, na siya maglaro. So, Mario Josep. <laughs> well, basically, uh, one final thing from you, Coach Bucci. Well, Ancheta deserves the, the, the award, no? Kasi triple, almost triple-double siya dito sa ballgame. Pero yung consistency ni Ancheta, kinakailangan yun yung maibigay niya, ma-prove niya kay Coach Chico Manaba to really, you know, get the minutes para sa kanya. Pagdating naman sa LPU Batangas, keep on playing, you know. At the end of the day, you gotta learn, you gotta improve. That's what basketball is. Sabi nga, you're down now and there's nowhere to go but up. Ang CEU Scorpions naman. Eh, tingnan natin kung sino ba talaga ang magbibigay ng bigger challenge para sa kanila. Ang ating Vespa key matchup of the game as we update it. So, Jomel Ancheta still basically with the same numbers and it's getting to improve in every game that he plays. Frank Robles, not exactly, but he managed to come up with his efforts here. Still another uh, short uh, performance here for the rest of those teams ng LPU Batangas Pirates. We know that win is going to come and for the CEU Scorpions, they could not be too overconfident. Another lopsided game, another uh, big victory for CEU Scorpions. Pero yun nga, that's just how about things have happened here. Only two games for this day, but next time we're going to be coming up we're going to be coming back with a regular schedule of three games that will happen again this coming Monday dito po sa Paco Arena. From all of us here, of course, for uh, Coach Bojinga ako, ito naman po si Benji Santiago and Sabrina San Diego, of course, nakasama natin courtside. We'll see you 